Hi, welcome. This is um, the system of Arcanlex B Plasma. And um, we've just made a new Arcanlex D ISO, the version for September. So going to be released mid-September somewhere. Now we've added the possibility to also install Spectre WM. And because of the article I have uh, already in place, we're going to make also a video about it. Now, there are lots of videos already to how to install Arcanlex D. Now we always evolve during all these years, by the way, this is our fourth year, so, um, of Arc Linux. And Arc Linux D is one of the most, well, is the most minimal ISO we have. If you skip everything that we propose to you, then you'll have a very basic Arch Linux installation with I think it was seven or eight Arcolix um, stuff like getting our keys in there, getting the bash RC, stuff like that. Things you wouldn't miss out. If you want to know, you can right mouse click, open terminal here, application, don't use this one. Well, you can, but I rather use termite. Watch out what you type here. I have Azerti, so I need to figure out where my M is. But then you boot up in termite. So this is not needed in all other and all our other ISOs, but this is the most minimal one. So we haven't said anything here. Hence, sometimes the look they say this is strange, but this that's the point, right? Um, yep, yeah, let's do minus r arco something and let's count. Well, the arco calamaris doesn't count, nor the other one, so not live session either. So, system D, system config there, one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10, the last one gets rid as well. So I think we are talking about nine packages that we still have, and that's all the rest is Arch. And you are, for instance, like Yeast and Trison and stuff like that. So how do you install Arclinx D? That's the fun of Arclinx D. You can't make enough promotion about Arclinx D because it is super versatile. You do whatever you want. And this time around, we'll have the version of 3.2.29 just a few days ago. We go to next. You can decide to install other kernels if the standard kernel is not good enough for you. What's the standard kernel? It's the one that's on the machine, right? It's called kernel 5A3, etc. Meaning pseudo pacman minus S Linux. That's the name, Linux. And the other kernels are Linux LTS and Linux don't believe me, just press twice on tap. If we have done an update, do that first so the database is in. Yeah, sure, install. And on sudo pacman minus s Linux. These are all the choices, right? So we have hardened, LTS, Zen. They're all here. I'm not going to do that. But um, you decide whether you want to have services or not. But basically, we, the videos for Spectre WM, you can either say, I don't do anything, just go through everything, do the motions, right? And then later on, run your scripts. And you'll have the system where you decide what package goes where, etc. But installing Spectre WM is going all the way back. And follow the logic. Linux, a, a kernel is needed. Now, you don't have to select anything because there is already the standard Linux kernel on here. This is here because you can download an ISO of six months ago. And then you can decide, please give the new one from today. So it gets downloaded then, right? So that's the reason why it's there. So if you don't do anything, you get an old kernel, then you update and then you get the new kernel, right? Okay, we use for LightDM, I always tell, please, this is the most secure thing ever. After four years of Arch Linux and Arch Linux, take uh, LightDM. It, it was never broken, actually. Um, and then we choose a desktop, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 desktops and still a few of them in the pipeline, meaning we are going to approach 20 or more um, desktops pretty soon. Next, 
then this is all software. I'm not going to click software. You like software, you click it, it's installed. All you need is an internet that works, right? The internet connection should be there. If you're on wireless, it should be there before you start Calamaris because once you start Calamaris, then he's going to check is there internet. If you now fix internet, Calamaris will assume there is no internet because it's just fixed now, right? So first internet fixing and then Calamars, start Calamars. Okay, rest, rest, run, run, click, 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 click. Brussels. Well, from time to time, we'll have to select it ourselves. This is communicating with a server from Plasma, and if it's down or there's maintenance, stuff like that, we just click on the country or the city you need. One click more. Erase discs. I'm not going to take swaps. This is a virtual box after all. Login automatically. And off we go. So we're going to install Arcon XD. And let's pause the video here. All right, it's finished. And we're going to reboot. Now, this time around, we decided to use Calamaris as our installer of Spectre.wm or any of the other desktops. But there's also the possibility to use our uh, scripts. So let me combine that in this video as well. If you type in git clone HTTPS GitHub, dot com slash D and then Arco something, something, a desktop, XFCE, Plasma, Spectre, WM. So that's also a way to go ahead, skip everything inside Calamari, say whatever, just give me a plain minimum Arch Linux system. And if you go and have a look at these things, these are the scripts we use to have an ArcMixD based on scripts. But it's not intended that you follow this rigorously i mean you can change it any way you want so let these scripts become your own scripts 90 percent of the work is done it's going to work if you boot but say for instance i want to have brave as browser or pale moon or anything there are so many browsers out there right choose the pieces that you want from the lego box called arch linux all right but um We've uh, chosen now to install SpectreWM from Calamaris or via Calamaris, right? Otherwise, I would just run all the numbers here, number 100, etc. What we do is assuming that the ISO is old, right? You've downloaded it, so the first thing you probably think is I want to update. But updating means it's, come and come, it's going to come from the internet, and the internet, well, that changes. So first, maybe it's a good idea to ask for, give me the fastest mirror for Arch Linux, right? I'm living in Belgium. Take a look around. What's the fastest server for me? You're living in Brazil, in Japan. It's going to be different, right? So now I'm supposed to have the fastest thing around. Now it makes sense to do an update. Still one thing to do, great. Then I would do a scale, right? Anything that's an ETC scale is going to go over here. And I certainly suggest you do that with tiling, window, managers, and Spectre WM is one like that. XFC, don't do it because it's nice to look or to see how does Plasma look? How does XFC, Mate, Cinnamon look out of the box without our tweaking, right? So that's an interesting fact. How does a virgin installation of XFC on Arch Linux look? Do not press scale, do not type it, do not copy paste our Arch Linux configurations from etc scale to the home directory, and you will know. So tiling window manager, type it, right? So update scale up all as a reflex, but there is almost nothing in here from AOR. If nothing, I think. 
And then we need to enable something. Either you choose LightDM, SDM, so you choose a displays, a display management. So system, CTL, enable me please, LightDM, right? That's it. You can skip the sudo, he's gonna wait, he's gonna ask later on, hey, you need to be sudo, right? And SR, or if you're in Arch Linux, sudo reboot. And off we go to our Spectrum, WM. And the same procedure is this for all of the desktops and all the future desktops, right? Again, here, this little uh, way to, to update the Arch Linux mirrors is the same as our aliases we've created uh, inside. Uh, so aliases mirror, this is it. But aliases mirror, but an S is something different. And there's also the mirror A and mirror D. So different mirrors. So if it, one doesn't work, you get uh, to get the fastest server, you use another, simple as that. Or as you can see, our control W, depending on QWERTY, remember W is just the letter for Azerty and QWERTY. So update. So that's it for me. This is how easy it is to get something installed. Um, now it's up to you to learn more, of course, about all the keyboard shortcuts, because this is a well, yeah, tiling window manager, right? So that's the fun of it. Uh, at some point in time, you'll say, look, it doesn't give me any problem because my fingers already know what keyboard shortcuts to press. Ctrl, Alt, T, Super, Shift, Enter, and stuff like that. All right, enjoy Arch Linux.